Good morning, folks, and welcome back for another episode of Quantum Break. We were currently looking for the countermeasure, which is the one that would cancel the fracture of time. But according to uh, our friend, what's her face? Uh, I, I keep thinking control lady. Okay, let's call her Beth. Beth, her name is Beth. It's been stolen. The core is reset. We need to activate it from the control booth. Control booth, you got the it. Controls are up here, according to the monitor. Here goes nothing. <laughs> I choked, and I ruined everything. What was that? It's fine. It's fine. He doesn't understand, and yet he's it like, worked. yeah, it's okay, it's fine, it's working. It actually worked. How did you know that? Okay, we activate the corridor next. Okay, there is no way that thing should be exposed like that. I want to get in there. We have to. Is this safe? Like, can I hang out here and nothing will happen? Oof. <laughs> this is so trippy to look at. All right, is this the uh, the bouton? By the way, ladies, thank you for helping me. I appreciate it. I can't insert the date yet. There's a light blinking here. Might be what you're looking for. This is gonna work. It has to. You guys aren't actually planning to use this machine, are you? Maybe. So, I guess you're not at all concerned that one guy jerry-rigged this entire thing together? Because I think I literally see duct tape. Okay, no, this is a great idea. Yeah, no way that this is gonna backfire. Uh, she's not wrong. There is plenty of duct tape up there. I checked. So, you said a light was blinking here? I don't see it? Don't worry. We'll get this working. Core. Wait. Monarch said what they stole from the university was some kind of core. It's... The core for a time machine. We're not the only ones who have one. Christ. What are they planning to do with it? Serene's plans are focused on the future, not the past. But to succeed, he needs absolute control. Time machine is control. That's the title of a different game. Well, there's a line between control and playing God, and this crosses it by a long shot. This is insane. I did check the documents here, didn't I? I don't remember those. The schematics for the countermeasure spanned 11 years, 1999 to 2010. In itself, that wasn't strange. But the guy built a working time machine in two. So wait a minute. This over here is the same we found in, at the university? I, I have... Uh, I'm confused. From William Joyce to Beth Wilder, where are you? Beth, the time has arrived. It's here. Everything you warned me about is about to come to fruition. Please give me a sign that you're still out there. Put my mind at ease. Tell me you have the countermeasure. I'm losing my mind over here. I spent years trying to convince myself that you were wrong all this time, and that I built a countermeasure for nothing. I tried to move on, pick up the pieces, but now I have seen the proof. Paul Serene brought me to, uh, brought me in to advise on an experiment at the university. They've built it. They built another time machine. Okay, so this is a different model. Like, this is a prototype. Uh, almost an exact replica of my own design, but with key flaws in the calculations. Just like you said, if they activate this machine, then the fracture will occur. How is this possible? How have they followed my design so closely? Somebody's been watching me all this time, haven't they? Someone is orchestrating this, all of it. I'm being followed. At first I thought it was paranoia, but it's true. 
A man has been watching my every move. I secretly took his photo. Run a search. His name is Liam Burke. Oh, there he is. He works for the security division of Monarch Solutions. I first noticed it weeks ago, but this could have been going on for years. What does he want? What does he know? How is he connected to this? I need answers. I don't know who I can trust anymore. I don't know who else is involved, what they want and why. I need to hear from you. I need to know that I'm not alone in all of this. If what you once told me is true, then the onset of the fracture may be, the inevi may be inevitable. I cannot read anymore, but I can simply stand and allow it to happen. Not until I know the countermeasure is safe. I've seen it. The cause of fracture exists. It's here. Are you still out there? So... Um... He's just writing. He's just texting her, but she's not replying to him, like, at all. Well, most of these things are in here, so I might as well click on them. I don't understand a thing. Alright, do we get all the things? I clicked on that, I clicked on that. Well... The corridor. It's key activated. Will's key. Thank God. Um, is that supposed to do that? Will's key did that? Yeah. Key to a time machine and he left it in a trunk of his goddamn car. <laughs> That's my brother in a nutshell. That didn't sound good. Fuck. Let's just hope it still works. I wouldn't place a coffee machine over expensive equipment, especially when related to quantum physics. You said Will built a countermeasure. What makes you so sure this isn't it? The time machine. He said the what countermeasure am I looking was at? stolen. But the machine is still here. Ladies, are you ready? Today we're making history. That's a lot to take in, isn't it? Well, I stopped trying to make sense of all this around the time that you started teleporting. Yeah, still trying to figure that one out myself. Did the other one blip when we turned it on? I don't remember. This console says date input. I'm guessing this is it over here. Okay, it's perfect. Mr. Jason, Dr. Meyer became household names earlier this year when this paper and the proposal existence of a chronon field became one of the most hotly debated theories in the quantum physics community since the Higgs boson. William Joyce born and raised... Okay, this is like um, an, an interview of some sort. I guess we've already seen everything there is to see in here. I think we're ready. Wait, we're actually gonna run this thing? Really? Are you sure that... It... <laughs> This isn't exactly an easy bake oven. Maybe we should start by finding the instruction manual. You honestly think that's going to help? Probably not, which is all the more reason to avoid this. I mean, have you ever seen the movie The Fly? I do not want to be the Jeff Goldblum of this story. <laughs> someone someone made my joke. I appreciate it. That was cool. Not a friendly invitation. Achievement unlocked. No, 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 no. no. What? God damn it. I don't know. We were so close. I'm gonna try it again. Yeah, like hell you are. You saw what happened. Something's wrong with the machine. But we don't know that. You're not trained for this. Anything you do is gonna make it worse. We you can't know I'm right. Stop trying. You lost people. You're angry. I get it. But this is bigger than us. We can't fix the machine. But I might know somebody who And can. black holes that can suck and black holes that can suck you in. Sophia Amaral. The monarch scientist. I saw her video near Ground Zero. Serene's had a chronic research. She'll be at the Monarch Gala tonight, but security's airtight. She'll be nearly impossible to get to. Unless I have an invite. Paul told me he expected me to meet him at that party. Something tells me that was not a friendly invitation. Jack, no.
End of Act 2 I'm still liking the game. It's very cinematic, still. I wonder if there's more life uh, action stuff. I wonder how they're gonna do the gala. But uh, maybe we're about to find out. Where, where do I click? Plop, bloop, continue please. The future used to be so clear when I was reliving the past. Once I caught up to the moment I had left, that ended. All I've had to go on since then are the plan and the visions. I knew Jack would come to me. I'd seen that, but I didn't know why exactly or how it would end. There he is. You were right. My visions of the future aren't always clear, but they don't lie. Speaking of lies, Joyce is saying he's discovered his brother's time machine. We've spent 17 years looking for it, and he finds it in less than a day? Does sound unlikely. Still, we know it's out there somewhere, and we don't know what his brother managed to tell him. If he really has located the machine, why would he come here and tell you? Smart Money says he's trying to play you. Maybe, but the machine is out there. It's in our interest to find out where. If Jack knows, I have to talk to him. Hold, hold your horses. Hold on a second. Dr. Wait. Joyce could have provided the answer to that question. William's attitude and knowledge. There's made something him a we need to discuss here. Is that angry young man going to cooperate any more than his brother did? You remember Jack as a close friend, but that clouds your judgment. Don't make this personal. It's not. But don't forget why we're here tonight. After what happened, our people need reassurance that we're in control. You're the man who could win them over. Let me handle Joyce, so you can concentrate on your speech. I know what's at stake here, Martin. All right, so we got this. Jack discovered where the machine, where the time machine is. William's time machine, right? William, in one of his documents, said that he felt like he was being followed. Someone copied... Mr. Joyce is waiting for us down the I road. know, I know. Someone took the, uh, the schematics of the time machine he was building, and then the same time machine... Time machine? The same machine, let's call it machine, uh, was found in the university under Ceres protection. So, does that mean that in this reality, Serene has no flipping clue? I mean, he, he said that he doesn't know where the, uh, the machine is and he needs to find it. So somebody told him, apparently, Jack confessed when the machine, where the machine was and then Serene knew about it. <laughs> This is pretty interesting. I was expecting of him to say, Oh no, Jack found the machine. Dr. Sophia Amaral had taken over our Cronon research department after Dr. Kim's accident. She was the only one who could treat the Cronon syndrome. Erica, first of all, my condolences and apologies. I didn't realize you had a history with Henry, and frankly, I would not have promoted you into this position had I known. If you would be more comfortable working on something else, I can make that happen. No questions asked. To be clear, I'm not talking about a demotion. I mean, a comparable senior position in another department. I'm sorry I'm reading a little slow today. My eyes hurt. It's hard to read text for some reason. I mean, I, I, everything, all the words <laughs> seem uh, scrambled. All the letters seem scrambled in my brain. You're correct in that. It's a very sensitive topic, but given your current... Okay, I will stop doing that. But given your current security clearance, I can tell you what I know. Unfortunately, I don't know much. For the past six months, I myself have been trying to work out what happened, but I haven't made much progress. I know Henry was working late in his lab, and there was some kind of uh, chronon particle surge. Of course, we know that exposure to large quantities of chronon particles can result in physical changes. Paul Serene is an example of that. His first exposure resulted in his extraordinary abilities, and the second exposure caused his progressive condition... Uh, 
How many times was Sirene exposed to the Cronon uh, thingy? In, Hen in Henry's case, that exposure transformed him into a Cronon disrupted wave function subject, or a shifter. It is of course clear that Mr. Sirene's and Henry's conditions are essentially the same thing, even if Mr. Sirene's case hasn't progressed so far. However, it's not at all clear how Henry could have been exposed to such a powerful dose of Cronon particles particularly as the lab area itself underwent none of the temporal changes we have come to associate with such an exceptional event. None of the containers on scene had remotely enough chronon particle capacity for such a high dose, and furthermore, all of them were intact and accounted for. In short, we don't know where these particles could possibly have come from. I'm not surprised that Martin Hatch was unwilling to discuss this. Oh, Mr. Monarch. He was the only other person present in the lab when the accident took place, but I don't know why he was there or what happened, and he claims to have no memory of the events, right? Oh, and now I want to know more. Despite this, Martin somehow managed to contain Henry in the artificial zero-state field set up in the lab. I am unwilling to speculate as how as to how this could possibly have happened. Suffice to say that I have many questions about these events myself. Think about my offer, Erica. You're a first-rate scientist, and I would hate to lose you, but I would absolutely understand if you wanted to change departments. Please give me my best. Uh, give my best to your wife. It was lovely to meet her the other week, Sophia. All right. If uh, if anybody, I think. Sophia would have the answers here. We found one out of one. Is this the door in question? Oh, I thought... Uh, oh! Oh, oh. After you. This uh, scene here reminds me something of uh, Max Payne 3. Even though Max Payne 3, to my surprise, and I figured out years later, is a Rockstar game and not a Remedy game. What are these doing here? We should be set up by now. It's all on schedule. You're micromanaging again. What are these for? Don't even twitch. I wonder if we get to uh, use Serene's powers at some point in the video game. And here you are. I had to see the lifestyles of the sick and traitorous up close and personal. And it was such a nice invitation. How do you want to deal with this, Paul? Decisions, decisions, let's see. I could still try to reach Jack and make him see reason. Or I could let Hatch deal with him so nothing would distract me from leading Monarch. Hold to show personal and hold to show business. Let's see, well, we're gonna see both. See personal first. I've been to the past. I've tried to change things. Answer me this question, Bob. I once trusted Jack more than anybody. It was my only chance to make him understand the truth. The fuck do you mean nobody got a look at the shooter? But without me there to give the speech, my empire would start to crumble like a house of cards. Serene chooses to focus on his relationship with Jack and let Monarch fend for itself for a while. Hmm. Business? I believe that with hope comes miscalculation. And as you and I are well aware, Mr. George, miscalculation can often come a catastrophe. And that leaves me with you, Mr. Joyce. But my old friend would be a lost cause, dead and buried along with the rest of my past. Tonight is a celebration, a celebration in the face of darkness. Tonight we celebrate because I promise to you that we are prepared. Monarch would grow stronger with my presence. 
the plan would go forward as intended. He wouldn't have complete control, right? I think I'm gonna go with personal. Let's do it. Martin, I'm afraid you're gonna have to cover for me at the speech tonight. All right. Jack and I have a lot of catching up to do. Yeah. I've seen where this leads. I've been to the end of time, and I've escaped it, all the way to 1999, when it all started. I've tried to change things, but by trying, I only made them happen in the first place. <laughs> None of your friends agreed with your choice. <laughs> Maybe none of my friends played the video game. Let's go. Time is breaking down. Monarch has been preparing for it. There's this thing. It's called a lifeboat protocol. And it can save us, at least some of us. You've been the face of Monarch for all these years, Martin. But let's get clear on something. This is still my ship. You're not thinking clearly. You need to trim it. You gonna go? Me? Go to a party. We can roll together if you want. What do you want? I want a statement. Our group took things too far. Things got very violent. And that violence was because of Jack Joyce. We just lost communication with Jack Joyce's transport. Find him. Step away! Right now! Liam, this isn't what it looks like. No. No! He's gone! We need all points converged on Liam Burke. He's armed and dangerous. Treatments. They're losing their effectiveness. They're fine. No. I need to work on something new. You should enjoy yourself tonight. You work too much as it is. I've been running tests on the temporal anomalies. I think it could be happening sooner than... I've we're... seen when it happens. At least consider that maybe you misinterpreted something. Jack knows where William's machine is. I have to go talk to him. Martin can handle my speech. Martin. Sophia. Thank you.
haven't touched your drink. I am just not. I'm not really into drinking a lot, I guess. Oh. <laughs> Rough day? Yeah. Yeah. Same here. Like what? I have things happen in my day. I do. Uh huh. We had to, uh, I had to deal with some internal affairs. Internal affairs? Mm -hmm. Oh, you're just gonna leave me hanging? Well, yeah, it's internal. <laughs> Charlie. <laughs> catch a traitor today. A traitor? Is that what all that commotion was about? Yeah. Okay. That was me. Who was it? I mean, hmm? Who was it? <laughs> who was the... Who, who was it? Yeah. <laughs> I can't... I can't... Uh, what? I am not at liberty to discuss it. Well, you just brought it up. It's like, uh, well, monarch drama. <laughs> Yeah. What? Well, I guess I guess I'm just gonna have to leave you hanging on that one, for real, this time. Oh, I just thought maybe you'd wanna share it with me. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna use the restroom, so I'll leave you hanging here, for real. Okay. Go mingle. Yeah. Drink okay. a little. Okay. All right. Thanks for the gun. Dr. Rummel? Martin, I need your help. He listens to you. Paul. Is that so? I think we're in trouble, and he doesn't see it. He refuses to. I can't imagine why. I know you and I haven't always seen eye to eye, but I know you care about Monarch. You care about what happens. And if we are reaching zero state, something has to be done. Then what is it we could do? You know what we could do. Truth is, Sophia, it's not really a matter of whether or not Paul will listen to me. It's that I won't listen to you. I find your approach to matters rather counterproductive, filling Paul's head with your constant alarmism, distracting him with petty doomsday scenarios. And if I'm being honest, I rue the day he gave you a modicum of function in this company. Because you said, I care about Monarch. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to prepare for my speech. What is it that you're so threatened by, Martin? Do I look threatened to you? We have control of the presentation. Make it look good. Hey, you're Crocker, right? 
Hey, Crocker. Crocker! I really need to take a shit. Oh, come on, Croc. Crocker. Crocker! Come on, Crocker! <laughs> Where? The woman with the necklace. Mm. My money is on that. Mm-hmm. It's a pretty good choice, yeah. but I'm gonna have to go with Ryan Gosling down there talking with George Clooney. Wearing his nice cufflinks, chatting about stocks. Yeah. Richard, where the hell have you been? Didn't have my invitation. Oh my god, you're always losing things. I'm not losing anything. Ooh. Drama. Yeah. Wow. Uh-oh. She's going for it. No. Bam. No. Told ya. Why am I losing you owe me so a bad? Sword. I don't think I can drink. Drink. Anymore. I don't think no, I can. No, rules are rules. Rules are rules. Rules are fucking rules. You owe me another sword. All right. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm doing it. Oh, I actually hate all this. You can do it, my man. You Thanks for the encouragement. <laughs> Oh. Nicely done. Oh. Thank you. I just wish I wasn't losing so bad. Do you want to go for a walk? Yeah. Okay. All right, lady. I'm taking, I'm taking mine too. Crocker, 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 crocker. Hey, buddy. Crocker! Crocker! Burke! Crocker! Hey, buddy. Hey, 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 hey. Burke, listen. If I have to come in there, you're gonna fucking regret it. Listen, this is just a big misfucking understanding. I'm gonna be out tomorrow. Oh, wouldn't a good word for you? I will help you climb this ladder. All I'm asking is please let me take a fucking shit. Go to the back wall. Fuck. Thank you, man. Thank you so much. Come on. Oh, man. Thank you. Shut up. Back up slowly. Yeah. You don't mind that we left, do you? <laughs> I mean, I wasn't really excited about going in the first place. Okay, why'd you go? I think, because somebody twisted my arm. Ah. Are we, are we even allowed to be out here? Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> okay, all right. So what would you have been doing tonight if we didn't go? What, if I hadn't gone to the party with you? Yeah. Well, I would have canceled all my other really important plans. Uh, and then I would have gone back to work. I think maybe you work a little bit too much. Yes. But I... <laughs> well, no, I mean, I, I, it doesn't feel like work. You know? I like being wired in. Yeah. Makes me feel connected. You work all the time. In fact, you're there most of the time I'm there. So, don't you think you work too much? Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, I'm there. I guess, yeah, it's a lot of work. Holy, Holy shit! Holy shit! Holy shit. Hey, you little fuck. Hey, hey, what? All you had to do was let me in that perimeter lab. You turned on Monarch. What was I supposed to do? You have no idea what's going on, do you? I need to get in that lab. There's something in there that I need. The lifeboat protocol. You work with Beth Wilder. I've seen you before. You know her? 
Which is the reason I'm here. Gun still necessary? <sighs> yeah. Come on, hurry up. You're a very kind person. right up here. Oh, right. You, I got it, guys. I got it. Well, I guess you guys can't do this. Special talent I have. Glad it's so celebrated. <laughs> You're welcome. Is this it? What is that? Disrupted life form. Extremely hostile. Only ever heard of them. Life form. It's Dr. Kim. The second machine, where is it? I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I've been to the past. I've tried to change things, undo mistakes. Only to find there's no changing the inevitable. Time is just one closed loop. No matter what I do, you and I, we always end up here. And no matter what I do, time ends. I think you've lost your fucking mind. My mind is intact, I assure you. The memory, however, it's stretched like you've seen too much. All 
of it blending into one, apart from a few fragments of memories, one in particular. You and I were 11 or 12 years old when we found that vagrant. You remember? And when I arrived at the pass, that was the first thing I tried to change. I went to the roof. I tried to talk him down, but my presence startled him and he fell, same as before. Anything I try to change, it just triggers the same event. We keep seeing that body. Because we were meant to. I'm not turning my back on the human race at this point. They're a necessary sacrifice. Is that what Will was? Necessary sacrifice? Will refused to believe the inevitability of what was coming. And he became an obstacle. Stop before you're dead. When you're ready to cooperate, I'll be here. Was he? He was my mentor from uh, college and then here to Monarch. I was in uh, a bad place and he kind of turned me around. Got it. Sort of. I mean, it's, it's a ghost file. It's remnant of mass deletion. Somebody was here. We got the um, Cronin Field Regulator. Wait. Hold on. Holy shit, this is Dr. Amaral's report. What is it? The stutters, they're, they're increasing in frequency. What's a stutter? The more frequent the stutters, the more indicative of a fracture. Okay, and what's a fracture? Of time. Zero state, it stops, and it doesn't start back up. And the LIPO protocol could save us. I have no idea, but the, the Cronon field regulator, it is the core of Monarch's time tech. Everything is based upon it. And it, it has something to do with the lifeboat. Let's go. Wait. No, 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 no. This way, this way. Turn. No, 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 The lab is stutterproof. Stay here. That's the stutter? Where are you going? There are Kronon harnesses up here. We need them.
End of episode two. Me likey. Spicy. And it was way shorter than the first episode too. Security was tight at the Monarch Gala. You took quite a risk walking into the lion's den. If we were gonna kidnap Dr. Amaral, then we needed to do it from the inside. Beth Wilder. You were quick to trust her. We had common interests. Is that all you had? That's all we needed. Well, I was starting to think seeing a pretty lady like you is too much to hope for. Why don't you keep your mouth shut while we get some privacy before we begin? Okay. How about you get me out of this chair? Ah, ah, ah. Stop squirming. And you're gonna need this. Sure. And nobody suspects her. What's it yet. look like out there? Act three, part one, hey, research facility. Care. Everyone's concentrating on the party. So far, your crazy plan's working. And Dr. Emerald? I don't have a fix on her. She's either at the party or at her office at the R&D facility here on the island. I'll scout out the party. So you're gonna sip champagne while I break into a high security installation. It's like you got this all figured out. I'll save you a cocktail, weenie. Oh, well, in that case. My cover isn't gonna survive the night, but it'll last a little longer, so you can't walk out the front door with me. This is the quickest way to the R&D facility. I disabled the security at the back door, but there'll be guards. Contact me when you're clear. And Jack, you know what's at stake here. This can't be about revenge. I'm not here for Paul. See you later. And thanks. Hey, he's escaping! Time rush, hold shift to time rush. During time rush, press mouse one to perform a melee takedown. This is going to mess up my, my sticky keys. Damn. That will hurt in the morning. Hello, beautiful. My powers were growing. I was learning to control them better. That felt good. Tactical SMG has uh, a bigger clip, so it looks like more bullets. I'm gonna stick with that for uh, for now. Want to try it again? There must be some way to open the door. Shoot! So wait, I press uh, shift and forward, do it? Yeah, okay, I see how it is. It was pretty automatic when we did it in the cutscene, but... Now I know. Oh, 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 oh. Who the hell designs these doors? Okay, I'm gonna have to move fast. Mm this is fun. Oh, we found a thingy. Another graffiti here of uh, Beth 
And uh, a couple of dudes. Very sci-fi and very monarch. Something tells me it wasn't commissioned by them, though. Pretty. I want to know more about uh, Dr. Kim as well. Is she going to be the final boss? Hey, Beth, I'm clear. What's next? You'll see a radar tower up ahead soon. Let me know when you get inside. Lighthouse? Right. Is this the Alan Wake Lighthouse? Am I still in Massachusetts? <sighs> What on earth is that? Is that a turret? Can I do both abilities at the same time? Whoa! Jesus Christ! Stop it! It's too heavily armored. Oh! 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 See about that. So we gotta get behind it somehow. Hey Beth, I'm clear. What's next? I see a radar tower up ahead of you. Let me know when you get inside. All right. It will stop at some point. Uh, in addition, what's the cooldown on my dash? No, I cannot stand here either. No, 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 don't fall off. Oh, he could have warned me about that one, Beth. Okay, how am I getting to that radar tower? Light machine gun. Hello, baby. Oh, yeah. We have something around here. Again, let me remember the, uh, the buttons. I always play other things in between. I'm expecting to find something interesting here. Is that a cannon? Holy crap! <laughs> Why is there a cannon here? <laughs> is this some sort of fortress? Oh, pretty fireworks! Uh, up you go. Huh. <laughs> we will redo that later. Try this again. Oh, I have to do it from down there. <clears throat> How close do I have to be? Come on. I have to be a lot closer, huh? Just our people there. We can spin it however we want. Call it an accident. Or pin it on Joyce. Yeah, he might as well take the blame for the mess he made. <laughs> you have no idea where I am. I'm, I'm sorry, buddy. Oh, God, that must have hurt. Time felt broken here. Time feels broken everywhere, Jack. I don't see any Cronon thingies. The whole cannon felt unstuck in time. Monarch built over World War II fortifications. Maybe wonder why they chose that island. The existing tunnel system led back to the mainland. Perfect for construction of a highly secretive R&D facility. What do we have here? <laughs> I might regret this decision, or maybe I won't. Hold on, what do I do with those things? The timeline of the old cannon felt loose. I could shift it around. Smart place to aim the cannon, guys. 
projections say these stutters are getting more frequent. If one hits while we're grabbing Dr. Amaral... You'll be frozen. Yeah, I know. It's a risk. No, no, no! Don't go through this! Jack, no! No, no! I'll keep an eye out. See if I can grab it for you. Go back! Jack, no! God damn it. Yeah, I heard he took a person. Hey, don't like the helicopter up there. That might give me trouble. It's not just the two of you. But I can manage with the guys up top. Oh, poop. Sniper. Snipers. I've made poor choices. Yeah, come on over. Come here. Hi. Hey, one sniper cannot see me. How many guns do I have currently? Oh wait, I held on to my assault rifle and I also have you? Gonna get ya, gonna get ya! Hey, uh, I just want the sniper. Got him. And we have one more up there. This guy cannot see me yet. All right. My, my problem. My main pro. Oh. Oh. Oh, they're still coming? Where are you, friend? Damn it. This barrel suck! I think we're in the clear. Just wanna get this guy. Got him. Uh, I like the, the Metal Gear cloaks you're wearing. Thanks, Beth. Look, I've made a mistake, okay? I know there was something else back there and I missed it completely, and now the game won't let me go back and get it. I need to get to the radar tower. Do you remember the, the term for these things I'm looking for? The the chronon particles are they? The ones that give me okay. Next stop, the ability tower. points. Speaking of, do we have any? Discovered three percent. I have three. Chris focus. Uh time dodge. Focus time triggered by aiming with mouse 2 immediately after using time dodge will last longer. This costs for 1. And everything else is 4, right? Except for this one, which is 6. Oh my god. Uh, I'll take that one. Yeah, sure. Yeah, this is 4, this is 6, and this is 4. I love my new abilities. Uh -huh. Great, another one. Where are you, little buddy? Where's the turret? 
Where is it? Oh, I see it over there. Okay. Ha! Too slow! Ha <laughs> ha, scrub! Give me that. I need the bullets. Uh, anything interesting back here? Aside from uh, guns? No. Semi automatic. What am I replacing if I take this? I'm replacing my light machine gun? No. I'm taking this bad boy with me. Beth? I'm at the radar tower. Where's the lab? Below your feet. It's all top secret. The elevator inside will take you down. Oh, seriously? <sighs> what is this, a Bond villain lair? <laughs> you have no idea. Just don't fall into the shark tank. Nobody's in charge here? What is... What? Oh, why? Fuck. What? What happened? Hello, Riverport. This is Teresa Sidmack. Happy to spend this fine evening with you good folks. We're gonna have a good time, but if you're keeping an eye on the in crowd, you know we're not gonna be the only one. Two out of seventeen. Hmm. This might take a lot of work. A lot of searching. I'm tempted to restart the chapter exclusively to get that uh, one item I've missed. Look, I'm not sure I've missed something, but I kind of want it. Use the elevator to enter the R&D facility. We're expecting somebody this handsome, I know. Unfortunately, Mr. Serene is preoccupied with as many duties necessary to assure we maintain control over our path forward. Ah, uh, not really. He's not. And that's what tonight is about. The future. We all knew this day was coming, even if many of you out there aren't sure. Speech is streaming. Let's give Monarch the audience they deserve. We're entering a new phase in our Oh my god! One that presents new risks. Oh, what, what happened, game? You okay? One that requires this. You're going viral, Control buddy. Field regulator or CFR. Wait, what's over there? Oh, that's the uh, that's the entrance. Okay. But okay. would only a select few, you know, is that this device is at the center of Monarch's plans to navigate through the dangers of the future. This device. <laughs> Everybody get down! What the hell? Is he okay? I didn't see. Oh, Jesus. What the hell's that about? William? Are you there? Who shot him? Hey, Beth. I'm headed down into the labs. Okay. A bit of confusion here at the party. Serene's right-hand man's on stage. It was supposed to be Serene. So in theory, he knew this would happen, but he did say that the events, whenever he tried to change them, it was no good. He could not. They, they stayed the same, no matter what they were. He's the only one who has spoilers about this story. And I want to know more. Security network just lit up. They know you're there. No shit. Cover me. Move in. Engage target. No, please don't. No. I'm exposed. I, I can't even. Where are you guys? Oh crap. Jesus.
Just because I can. Oh, I, I cannot? You know what? I'm gonna take your guns now. These are mine. I, I cannot take your gun. Unstable objects. Use time stop mouse 3 or time shield control to get past unstable objects. Ah. Alright. Let's take a break. And I will see you all in the next episode of Quantum Break. Until then, thank you everybody for watching. Have fun, whatever you do. Take care of yourselves. And do not forget, keep on gaming. I will see you all next time.